Good morning and afternoon everyone. My name is Mansu Aroda from Lepton Software and we welcome you all for today's webinar on automated fiber planning. This session will be for 30 minutes and we will have a Q&A session at the end of the presentation. I would request you all to kindly type your questions and queries in the Q&A window and we will take them after the presentation is finished. Our speaker for the day is Mr. Shyam Devi Reddy. Mr. Shyam is the Director of Product Network Access at Lipton Software, responsible for product management, solution, and pre-sales. Prior to joining Lipton, he has worked for industry majors like Ericsson, Telecordia, S3 in their global operations. Now I would, uh, the agenda for the day is, we will have a brief introduction about the, uh, about the company and the product for two minutes. Then we will uh, go on to Lepton Smart Planner solution, which we offer. Uh, then there will be a short demo for the tool that is this uh, Smart Planner demo. And in the end, then we'll have the Q&A session. So now I would request Mr. Shyam to take over the session with his presentation on the topic of the day. Mr. Shyam. Right. Uh, thanks, Manso. Uh, can you provide me confirmation that you can hear me properly? Uh, yes, sir. We are able to hear you. Thank you. I, uh, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the webinar. Uh, this webinar is uh, part of the series. Uh, is the second in the series. In the previous uh, webinar, we introduced our company Lepton and the products and services we bring onto the market. We also introduced our value suite called Network Access that addresses the whole network lifecycle journey. The slide that you're seeing right now, um, it's basically reinforcing the same information that has been provided earlier. Uh, but to touch upon it today briefly, uh, we provide a geo suite that addresses the lifecycle activities uh, to manage the fiber network lifecycle, right from planning to rollout to operations uh, and feasibility of client acquisition, as well as customer experience. All these uh, independent solutions that work together in a network access suite uh, addresses the specific requirements uh, at each lifecycle stage of the network. Today, the focus is Smart Planner. Smart Planner is the one that uh, allows uh, allows operators or telecom companies to quickly plan and design their networks. Smart Planner is an automated solution with the minimum inputs uh, like the customer locations and the exchange building OLT location. It allows us to automate the whole planning process. Something that takes days by the traditional methods uh, can be achieved in uh, minutes. If not minutes, if not more than an hour or so, depending on the volume of the work involved. A typical planning process uh, Start with strategic planning. Uh, the businesses decide what whatever work networks they want to build out. And once the strategic planning is done, once the markets are identified, uh, you typically go to a particular uh, area that you want to provide a coverage and a high level design is created. And the high level design will lead to the next step of uh, either going to the field to do the survey to make sure that all the right of ways and all those things are picked up in the right manner. And those changes, if any, that are observed in the field, it comes back and uh, and the final design is made up, which comes, becomes a detailed design. Detailed design is then used to by the construction crew to build the networks and make an as -built. The whole process of strategic planning to as built is what we address in our smart planner solution. The key features of smart planner are it's basically a web-based planning tool. So everything that you do is on a web browser. Uh, and it can be deployed both on premises as well as cloud. It's optimized to consider all the various parameters of engineering rules, like splitter ratios and the fiber uh, fiber sizing and and additional capacity that you want to add up for future expansion purposes. All those rules are typically fed into the system, and and uh, it uses the engineering rules to perform the automation using the algorithms, like uh, the connectivity algorithms, uh, the nearest neighborhood algorithm. Um, and the shortest path algorithms. It supports both multi-dwelling units as well as single-dwelling units uh, designs. Um, and uh, we take pride in saying that uh, we have the MDU, a multi-dwelling unit planning, automated planning, which is probably the first in the world. 
the solution is highly configurable so you can quickly import uh, import your data inputs and allow and configure the different engineering rules on the fly and then it produces the design so you can do multiple iterations of the same plan and see what is a BOM and BOQ will change the rule set and of course uh, you can pro it also allows you to produce the outputs like BOM BOQ splice plans and uh, single line diagrams as well as KML files that you want to share with other the people in the ecosystem. The key features, it, as I mentioned earlier, uh, on the top left corner, what what I'm showing is uh, it's a customer input input to the tool. It could be the customer locations, the lat long, and the number of homes passed. It takes an input of either Excel sheet or a CSV file or a shape file, depending on whatever the choice of input that you want to have. Once it loads into the system, it shows all the uh, home passes that has to be used in the design and then on the right is the configuration where you can configure all your engineering rules and further to that it does the clustering and then you say where your OLT is and it, based on the engineering rules that you fed earlier it does the automatic clustering uh, based on script ratios and all that stuff uh, and using the most optimal cost, least cost methods. Once the clustering is done it goes to the next step of connecting all the customers putting the uh, ONTs and then drop cables and doing the necessary filtering and splicing all the way up to the OLT um, and also the port to port connecting it. And of course, once all of that is done, uh, you always have a choice to go and modify uh, the network if there are some modifications required. We are going to def de demonstrate that the whole solution in a short while. Key features are providing lack long and uploading demand points. Uh, setting up the user defined panel where you can configure all your splitter ratios and manhole distances, what should be the fiber length and things like that. Uh, and the process of grouping the uh, demand points, uh, automatic grouping or manual grouping of it, um, fine tuning the networks of ma managing the splitter locations, changing the feeder and secondary net network ratios, and of course the deliverables uh, in multiple things, multiple formats, whether it's PDF or, B or KML files. Uh, in the case of graphic information, in the case of uh, uh, cost information and quantity information, the OMB case. Uh, the benefits that we see with this solution is, of course, you know, reducing the time it takes to produce a design. Um, it it accelerates the whole planning time and reduces it by 65 to 70 percent. Something that happens in days is reduced to uh, hours or minutes. Not because it does it so fast, you can do multiple iterations of things so you can produce the most optimal design that you want and you do this uh, the optimization mechanism to make sure that all the uh, capacity is connected in the right way in the right manner with the with the lowest cost possible thus helping the total capital that is required to build in it with that i would want to turn it over to harshit now who would uh, who would do the demonstration of the software Ashit, can you please go ahead and start demonstrating? Yeah, sure. Yeah, good morning, all. I'm just sharing my screen. Yeah, this is the landing page of our application uh, for this planning. Uh, I just move on to our workspace. First of all, we have to make a workspace where we can plan, we can save our configuration. On the top, we can see that we have the two options available, that is MDU and SDU. Whether we want to plan for multi-dwelling units or single dwelling units, we can choose the option according to our business requirement. We have an upload data option available. In this upload data option, uh, we can upload the inputs in building form, in Excel form, or in shape files. We have the two mode of operations that uh, how we can upload the data. We will click on the format and we will directly upload the buildings. For this, I have just I have all uploaded the buildings. I have preloaded. I'll make you available. These are the building inputs uh, that have been uploaded in the system. 
on which we will plan. We can check the number of counts of home passes that are part of the solution that or which we are going to plan. We can have a we can check the count, the details that we have uploaded 608 buildings for which we want an automatic plan to generate. We will perform auto clustering. Auto clustering is just like a customer serving area. In this, it will use the Google routing algorithm to cal calculate the optimized way to make the customer serving boundary. So it will take two or three minutes and it will create the automatic clustering. It will highly optimize the routes, roads, directions, and it will create the customer serving area so that it will connect all the buildings with these splitters. After that, the auto clustering, we will do some configurations. In configurations, we will select the parameters on which we want to plan in our network. There are different parameters for every organization in which they will select the configuration of the splitters, their home passes, the manhole, their utilization of the primary secondary splitter. We will select the core of fibers because every organization uses his own standards, having his own use cases. So on that basis, it will plan. After selecting the exchange location, the plan will be generated on a fly. Right. So, Harshit, how many buildings you know, is it trying to do auto clustering now? These are 600 buildings. Okay. Actually, it will, it will optimize, it yeah, it will usually take two to three minutes. In a minute, it will create the automatic clusters. Because it is using the routing algorithm, it is calculating the distances on the basis of roads, road center line, the directions, and it will create an optimized clustering for this plan. See, in two to three minutes, it's just generated the auto clustering. And these auto clusters will look like this. And it's happening everything on the web, web uh, uh, interface, it, right? Yes, this is the web interface. And before automatic plan to execute, we will just do some manual configuration, the for which I was just telling about. That we will select the primary splitter ratio, we will check the utilization. We will select whether I want to plan in the underground or aerial. I will select the methodology. I will select the how the my network topology will be look like, ring linear, all the cable configurations, my feeder cable, my trench type, my FDC utilization. So I will select all these planning configuration, and after that I will select a exchange location suppose i want to i want my exchange to be placed here then i will just do the i will process the plan and you will see on the screen that it will start placing all the network elements all the equipments on the map it will start processing the plan now you can see that primary splitters are being processed and in no time, in minutes, it will generate an automatic FTX plan. After primary splitters, it will start placing secondary splitters. The cable will be laid. The second split is processing. And you will, you will be able to see that 
in minutes it, it will generate the planning for 600 home passes that will usually take day one or two to plan it but in minutes we will going to achieve our target our goal and it will plan it here it is just optimizing all the algorithms just placing all the equipment according to the clusters right so while while it is doing that it's also placed the cables as well harsh yes it will place the cables it will place the feeder cables distribution cable everything will be placed and the complete plan will be there that on in the background you can see that there are the splitters that have been placed now right. and the these cables are going to be sized uh, based on the demand yes based on the configuration all the cables will be there right and civil elements civil elements like you know ducts and you know manholes or things like everything that. that all the planning on the configuration that we have done in the plan that it will be highlighted that if we have selected the hdd trench type then it will make the hdd trench and duct the configuration that we have done for ducts in our planning configuration that number of ducts will be placed and now you can see that it's 70% completed my feeder cable is now processing and in a minute or one or two it will complete this plan my after feeder processing it is processing the distribution cable every company has its own standard own requirement so on that basis we can we can select our configuration from this planning configuration and we can plan accordingly and here you will see in 5 to 6 minutes the complete plan from uploading the data till it's complete civil so drawing it will be completed now you can see that it is placing the poles and manholes if we have selected the underground then underground mode of operation then it will place the manholes and if we have selected the aerial mode of configuration then it will place the poles on the standard distance all the fat box and fdc are placing now the best part of the solution is that we are going we are we are we will get to know that which plan which element it is placing on the map and here you can see that it has generated this complete plan having all the required information now if we will like to see its complete detailing its reporting we can check all this reporting under this workspace that we have calculated its bomb boq we can check the bomb file it has generated the bomb file in the pdf in excel form we support excel pdf shape format kml format the all the reports will be generated in all these forms uh, in all these formats it's like that we have calculated the bomb it is a bill of material similarly we can extract out the kml that so that we are going to import it on a, some other third party software it will generate the sld diagram on the fly here you can see that from the exchange location to its primary split it has generated the complete sld diagram we can check the 
connectivity, we can check the splicing. Here you can see that from primary splitter to its secondary splitter, it has generated the splicing and all we can download this splicing in the PDF form. So this is the complete reporting that is available on the fly. It will generate the low level diagram and all the shape files also can be downloaded from this solution. So in short, this is the complete package for all of the plannings. Similarly, we can plan the for the MD also. We will select the building details and plan will be generated on a fly. Over to you, Sham, sir. Right. Thank you very much, Ashish, for that. Right. Uh, we're able to see my presentation. Can you confirm, Hashit or Mansur? Mm, no, not yet. Okay. I'll select the screen. Hashit, you'll have to select the screen. Yes. No, we are able to see. Yes. Okay. Okay. Fine. So, uh, so as as has been demonstrated by Hashit, you know, uh, by using the tool can quickly upload your um, target customer locations um, and uh, configure the engineering rules that you, did, you follow in your in your organization and allow the tool to uh, use the power of uh, maps uh, power of the connectivity how things are connected uh, uh, via which which street which road um, and routing algorithms and nearest neighborhood algorithms that are typically part of any geospatial system. Well, using the power of a geospatial system and intelligent uh, algorithms and, and key inputs like engineering rules uh, and customer demand locations as well as the exchange building location, uh, we have just seen that the tool can plan the whole thing, not only plan it, right from the OLT to the ONT. It also places the nervous civil elements, um, also the cable elements, equipment configuration, and size the equipment as well as the cable based on the demands. That is how uh, the whole capital expenditure cost uh, can be managed more efficiently because it places a splitter at the right location for the cluster. So it doesn't place it too far away, too near. So it understands all the demand points at a particular cluster location and then identifies the optimal location point and places a right split at the right location. And it sizes the cable based on the demand uh, so that this, the cable sizing is not overdone. Uh, similarly with the civil elements. So all these aspects of automated planning does help uh, reduce overall capital expenditure uh, to about three to five percent. That's our experience so far. And of course, as, you, as you've seen, something that takes days is done in a, in a matter of minutes. So the time it takes to plan your networks is highly accelerated. So huge, in, huge productivity in uh, engineering work. So what we say in summary, it's basically it's automated solution that is standardized. So same, once the rules are available, same rules are applied again and again. So the software would produce the same standardized design using the same engineering principles. And of course, it's optimized because using all the algorithms uh, and the optimization uh, mechanisms. And of course, everything is fully connected as we have seen in the single line diagrams that Hashid has just shown. Uh, that concludes our presentation as well as the demonstration of our smart planner. Uh, we intend to continue this series of webinars uh, in, in the upcoming months. The next topic that we have chosen is leveraging the Google Maps for the whole planning exercise. That is what we're going to uh, talk about in a month's time from now. Uh, we're open to Q&A now. Um, Mansoor, can, if you can help us with the Q&A. Uh, yes, thank you, Mr. Sham and Mr. Harshit for the insightful presentation and the demo. We would now begin our Q&A session and respond to your queries. I would request you all to kindly type in any queries you have in the Q&A window for Mr. Shyam to answer them. Uh, we also had a hand raise from Mr. Shashank on the slide for Smart Planner. So if Mr. Shashank can please tell us what his query is, can he just type in on the Q&A window?
Uh, any queries, any questions, friends, from uh, from the demo side, from the pool, or from the presentation, which we can help you with? I would request you kindly type those questions in the Q&A window. Right. So while we're waiting for the Q&A to come in, um, I will tip, I will try to uh, give some typical q and that we get on the solution. The first one we typically get is, you know, what is the underlying land base used uh, for the planning and routing? The underlying uh, land base used in our solution is Google Maps. So the solution is built on top of Google Maps. So whichever country you are from and wherever you are in the globe, uh, our solution uh, bundles the Google Maps uh, along with our software. So you would have access to Google Maps uh, for your geography. Uh, and the cost of Google Maps is bundled along with this. So the other question I typically get is, um, can you configure multiple splitter ratios? Uh, the answer is yes, absolutely. Uh, and uh, we have seen Harshit demonstrating the different splitter ratios. So depending on the splitter ratio, if it is 1 by 6 or 1 by 12, um, whichever splitter ratio that you want to add in, depending on the splitter ratio that feed into the engineering rule set, uh, the designs are, are automatically uh, adjusted according to it. Uh, some of our customers, they want to basically understand the uh, cost of uh, the design if there's a change in the splitter ratio. So you can probably produce a speed ratio based on one, one by six to start with, understand the total cost, and then change it to something else and understand you know, the cost of that based on the changes that you want to make. So those type of uh, uh, scenarios, um, multiple scenarios can also be quickly produced uh, so that you can provide multiple options for the, for the approval authorities, persons, managers who are approving the designs based on the cost and based on the design aspects. Right. Uh, we have any questions coming up apart from this? I would request the attendees to please uh, type in their queries, questions, if you have any of them, or we can move ahead and close this uh, session for the day. I don't think so. There are going to be any uh, questions that are being asked right now. So uh, thank you, Mr. Sham and Mr. Harshit for uh, this session and uh, for providing answers through an FAQ. I would like to thank the audience for the day. We will be sharing the recording of this session with all of you over the email for your future reference. Look forward to your attendance on our next uh, network access webinar on 5th of March. Also, if you have any queries and questions, you can write to us at marketing at liftonsoftware.com. Thank you and have a great day ahead. Goodbye. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye now. Thank you.